Hey Earth Signs, this is Ascension Empress with your July 10 to 13. Yes, to so the 13th weekend reading. And welcome if you are new. Ooh, oh Lord, Earth Signs. I've seen that. I've seen the Seven of Swords. We're going to leave it there. It's three cards. Thought it was two. But yes, welcome and thank you for your patience, your love, your support. And may peace and blessings be upon everyone. This is a general reading for my earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because I definitely need to talk to all y'all anyway, and your July readings are underway, okay? I actually have a lot of them uploaded. I just ain't met them public yet, so, yes. Um, just take what resonates with you. Y'all, let's see. Well, let's see, because, who? Huh, I still like, Okay. <laughs> When you just about your business, minding your business, because somebody is running up out of somebody else's lane that they stole whatever from their energy, their time, maybe manipulated, and they're coming into interesting. I just got for some of you, it's just like they're coming into your energy where you have something real to offer and it's not even your intention but it's just like they don't even know what they're about to run into but it's just like you this stability that you may have this um fresh pers perspective because you may just see mm, they somebody may there is a story behind this person the seven of swords because i'm getting for some of my earth signs you see what it is they're running from you you see that there's a reason you know they have those five swords in their hands and i was just talking to my air signs about you know the five of swords that popped up twice in their reading and you know sometimes you got to cut your losses you got to take what you know is going to help you going forward once you get that one more sword with that six and he's just like wait a minute i didn't mess around and grab that wrong sword when i took the seven let me go on back but before I go, I can go on and on about this person. We're going to pull a card. But this, this to me, is saying you have something to offer. Um, they may be, but be careful, be mindful. Because, yes, Mercury is going direct. But it won't be out of this storm until Leo season. And everybody just, we going we gonna to see. Because I'm going on. It's fine. So that's why I want to talk to y'all. That's why I had to say that. That's why I kept saying we're going to see. Because even something's, your, your position, your promotion, um, this energy that you provide that attracts people. I'm getting people of all walks of life. It's, it's definitely, it's a, it's a type of assignment that you have. Um. I'm getting you're always when you're blessed with something it's so that you can bless others and thank god you got earth energy <laughs> thank god because boundaries 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 are key why wow, i said that <laughs> and especially when it comes to family so be mindful of who you let into your house you know be clear i'm getting be clear about rules expectations um Someone may be in and out. This could be a romantic partner. Somebody, I swear, it's like somebody coming in after being shady with somebody else. Um, or just being shady out here in these streets. <laughs> but yet they know, you know, you got a new opportunity or they, they know that you're a giving person. But be mindful, protect your energy. Wow. Judgment. Use your judgment this weekend. Because this, yeah, that Capricorn lunar eclipse is still playing a huge, yeah, and especially for my Capricorns. Wow. Test time. <laughs> Test time, especially with Saturn and Capricorn now. Like, you know, you know, before it go right on into Aquarius with this Queen of Swords, it's like, get clear. Okay, what did you just have a preview of? What do you need to stand on and not fold? Because when judgment comes, blessings come, or you're going to be stuck in a cycle with this person who clearly 
is already and i'm getting your you're on the brinks of clearing the karmic debt especially my capricorns you're on the brinks three months and three years three months what's this month so yeah about when saturn goes direct in capricorn and it's just like okay you start to kind of see in your everyday life and how you especially politically lord we going to see what kind of what kind of ships are coming in from the seeds we planted from the beliefs sagittarius energy again let's see yep where there will be wish fulfillment but i'm saying i'm ooh, saying and i'm seeing that gratitude is being called for yes emotional availability not just to others but with the level of emotional intelligence you have to especially with the strength card here i'm getting leo season on yeah july just do you do you earth signs because i'm getting this next week or two up until about the 20th what's today yeah so today is the 9th to about the 20th yep just hang hang in there background i'm getting aquarius energy and and revise and get get all of that in order because you, you know a lot about order <laughs> You can write a series on order, especially after all of this. And now this is the time of unfinished business. A lot of Capricorn and Aquarius energy is going through that right now. So we see where you're going. We we see where my earth signs are going towards. And <laughs> Taurus, y'all definitely, y'all been on it. So that is your reading. I have all the other readings underway. Thank you so much again for all your patience. And I will see you all again soon. Take care.